asking Equinox members what they do for a living. Oh, What's I the craziest side? I didn't actually watch this yesterday. Wait, oh, let's watch it. Let's start with money. this one. Do you have any tips for people that want to become self-employed? How much do you make? What's something that you splurge money on? Do you have any tips for people that want to save more money? What's something that you do every single day that you think every successful person should do? What do you do? What? Oh, no, uh, can't do can't how do you make? What do you do for a living? YouTube. How much do you think you spend per month on food? Between fifteen hundred to three, at least. Dang, that's the highest number we've gotten so far. Well, I have a girlfriend. Which Equinox is this? Hey everyone, so in today's video, we are asking Equinox members what they do for a living. We'll be asking people what they do, how much they make, what they like spending money on, as well as any advice for anyone that wants to become successful. A membership here costs $200 to $350 per month, and obviously that's pretty expensive, so I'm always curious, what do people do, what type of businesses do they have that allow Irvine? them to spend oh, okay. as much on a gym membership? I'm super excited to see who we talk to. Let's go. Oh god damn look at those cords. Oh fuck. So what's your name, age, and what do you do? I'm David Packard, I'm 24, and I manage wealth. I trade people's money on the stock market. Whoa. Yeah, mostly options. How'd you get into that? Um, I got into it about four years ago. My brother-in-law brought me into it actually with a firm. I finally just started doing my own thing about two years ago. How much money do you make? So I make a Equinox is just not a class, isn't just a classy gym in LA, as the chatter asked. It's it's just like a super upscale, super expensive uh, gym that isn't just in LA. It's like all over. I used to be a member. I haven't been a member for a couple of years now because I just left uh, because of COVID. And then afterwards, I started training with a trainer, which is significantly more expensive than Equinox anyway. But they have it all over the place. Um... I, I, I was a member for many, many years, though, and uh, it's just literally some of the most in shape and douchiest people you'll ever see at a gym, at any gym. About $400,000 a year. They have wow. Aesop hand soaps in the bathroom? No, they don't. They have Kiehl's, unless they actually changed it to Aesop recently, but they used to only have Kiehl's. You pay for the exclusivity? No. As a matter of fact, that is not true. Um, Equinox gyms, or at least gyms in Los Angeles... And I've, I've worked out in New Jersey. I worked out in New York. I worked out in gyms all around the country. I worked out in gyms in Miami. Los Angeles only has really fucking shit gyms that are like $10 a month, $20 a month, which is a normal price for a gym, or at least was a normal price for a gym. But like you literally get hep C from the air the moment that you walk in. The weights are everywhere. Or gyms that are insanely, disgustingly expensive but actually are quality-wise a normal New Jersey gym. And that's the worst part about it, is that the LA fitnesses are nasty as shit, right? And you pay literally the same price that you would pay for like a New Jersey gym that is actually a good gym, okay? Or any good gym in uh, Florida. Or you have to pay, again, seven gorillion dollars like Equinox to get the same normal new jersey gym experience there i've never i've never actually seen like a gym that's moderately priced in los angeles that's good for like middle class and upper middle class people it is nuts anyone who tells you that that's not the case is lying to you by the way maybe things have changed a little bit but i swear to god all the franchise gyms in los angeles literally even when i even when i was dead broke it was so bad i used to work out at the la fitness in westwood village and holy shit, that basement, dude, that fucking basement, dude, is so musty. I swear to God, it changes you. You dramatically change. You're a different person. They said New Jersey is $100 a month. In LA, it's $1K. Wait, what? No. In New Jersey, uh, what was it? Workout World. Uh, what were the chains in New Jersey? I don't even remember. I haven't been in so long. They have like the national chains like LA Fitness and 24-Hour Fitness and shit like that. But in New Jersey, they also have like New Jersey local franchises. They have... Uh, wow is one. I think Jersey strong is another one retro fitness. They have a bunch of gyms in New Jersey that are really, really decent, especially depending on what neighborhood you're in. Like literally they're, they're actually decent, totally fine to work out in actually relatively clean. The weights are, uh, in, in the same place. It is, it's not the same as Los Angeles. So if you're thinking about like Ohio, Idaho, wherever the you're from and your local franchise gym is like 30 bucks a, uh, a month or 40 bucks a month or however it is now with brandon's economy right 
and you try to compare that to Los Angeles gyms of the same size, same variety, same price point, I promise you it is infinitely worse. Anyway, the point is, uh, you know, Equinox is is incredibly expensive and you literally just get like the regular amenities you would get at the average East Coast gym, um, but in the West Coast, at least in Los Angeles. So here it is. Wow. And um, do you have any advice for people that want to get into you know, trading and stuff like that? Um, start small because when I first started, I lost a lot of money. It took me a lot of, a lot of uh, lessons, you know, I learned the hard way. So learn from somebody who knows what they're doing and then start real small. Maybe trade in a simulator at first and then scale up. What's the most expensive thing that you own? Probably my house. Yeah, it's uh, I'm just renting my house here actually in California, but I own a house that's worth about 750,000 in Texas. What's a daily habit you do that you think everyone should do? I actually come here every day to the gym, uh, whether it's at least just to stretch or to work out. Uh, just because I love the atmosphere here, there's a, there are a lot of successful people and also it just kind of prepares my mind for the day. So that's something that I like to do. Why do you spend so much money on a gym membership? Just yesterday, I know it was on two days ago, somebody came up to me to ask me to trade their money. So it's just a very good way to network, whether you don't have a job or yeah if you, if you want to be a day trade if you want to be a trader just go to a gym first have a lot of money so you can trade and lose two uh go to a gym that's 300 dollars a month to maybe on the off chance like meet some rich people that will say oh yeah you can lose my money too if you have a job or you're doing your own thing it's a good way to network with people to expend on your business it's also a phenomenal gym it's honestly the nicest gym i've ever been to so it's worth every penny <laughs> what's the craziest side hustle you've ever done to make money solar solar sales solar sales is the it's a good side hustle especially here in california if you're going to get into any kind of sales job i would look into closing inbounding calls or closing you know warm leads so it's really just to save people money that's the only thing that's nice about it is it's not pulling money out of people's pockets how much did you make doing solar sales you'll make anywhere between it's commission based okay. so you'll make anywhere between 150 and 250 thousand a year working about five hours a day so it's yeah it's pretty it's pretty hard though you know some sometimes people like you, it's more of an art not a science so you have to overcome objections you have to drive a lot but it's pretty good money okay. if you have time for it and how do you invest your money i just trade my money so Okay, I'm skipping this guy. Yeah, this video is not as good as I thought. I fail. <laughs> so, like, I trade mostly at Fox here. I would recommend him. What's your name, age, and what do you do? I'm Jason Hardy. I'm 37, and I do a few things. Teach and train clients in fitness, uh, DJ, and do video production. How does it feel to do so many Just the most average... Dude, typical Los Angelino, okay? 11 jobs different things it's great because i like i have a lot of creative interests and keeps things fresh so what's the best part about being self-employed being able to kind of make my schedule but also my main goal in life is to just love on people so i get to kind of choose what i want to do and how i want to do it so why do you pay so much for a gym membership i don't i actually work here okay i used to work here a lot uh, i teach one class now just to keep my membership okay nice. but, so all i have to do is teach one class like once a week and then you get the free membership yeah i still like to come here it's a great place to work out i mean obviously the views and yeah. everything but what is your biggest expense right now i mean probably just rent how much are you paying for rent 2400 what's something that you splurge money on i love food so how much would you say you spend per month on food depends on the month i have worked with a meal prep company so some months i spend why did you guys send me this video you wanted me to watch this video but it's like not that great this is like even down to the music and shit it feels uh, these are like all these like investors and stuff even down to the music i mean it's just not for me let me just uh let me just clarify it's not a bad video. I'm sure certain people, like, there's a massive audience for it. It has 1.2 million views. Like, who gives a shit what I have to say about this fucking video, right? Um, but I do think that, uh, I do think that it's just not, like, I'm not the target demographic for it. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>